You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. How convenient, am I right? Now, how much so you, you want to bet? What you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. I could see why he wanted a nice, quiet life. An easy life. A life better than what he had when he was a little kid, but... Things like that never, never goes well. I mean, come on. Look hey, what uh, happened in part one. You think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive over. All while. right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. Okay, I'll All be right, really it's careful. As fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. All right, let's go. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. All right, got it. It is so ironic how I'm listening to this song. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. Okay, no okay, okay, okay. For no reason. My bad. Okay, so can I go? Cool. Come on, let me go, bro. Anyways. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below hey, because I just love you know talking to you guys. It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? Wait, a free car? Well, 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 this is getting better and better for me. But yeah, leave a comment below because I just love talking to you guys. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. You know you wasn't kidding. That they way really you you'll be able over. to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. I wonder what car I'm getting. I'm just curious. Wait, is it here? Car? Yep. I'm here. I'm gonna get my first set of wheels. So Ooh. excited. Get a load of that, baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Say less. Say less. Let's go. Oh, sorry, I keep on Welcome pressing to General Store, Circle and Sales Square. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. I love the details of the wall. I can really tell that this place is so run down. It's not even funny. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe. The best safe cracker in Empire Retired, Bay. Retired, please. How are you? The papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, I got my papers. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? You? Okay. Press square at the counter. Open the shop menu. Ooh, okay. Thank you. I I pretty much Grazie. appreciate this. But well, you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. 
you use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock should open. It's easy. Move L to move the pen. One position, press square to set it. So, move the pen. Ah, oh, and... that's how you do it. Nice. Wow, look at them trying to teach me how to lock it. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. This is cool. Thank you for showing me how lockpick. Now I can't wait to use it. In this game. Specifically in this game, not in the real world, okay? I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm, okay. I'm gonna say it right you there. You still feel like snagging that car? You can yes. Me. Absolutely. Well, here's what the chance. heck? Why is this game glitching? Look at this. Hey, yo, this is funny. Okay, so let me go ahead and steal this nice, cute car. Hold to pick the lock. Okay, so let me move. And... Nope, sorry. Come on. Got one. And got two. And got three. Ooh! Come on. Ooh, I messed up. Okay. Come on. I'm gonna definitely get used... I'm going to definitely try to get used to this, but honestly, I feel like this is way better than just simply smashing the car like I did in part one. Because a lot of those cars, they were too nice. Too nice to smash, you know? Oh, come on, man. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on! This is a pain! Okay, okay. Got one. Got two. Oh, okay, listen, listen. Come on. Alright. Yes. It looks easy, but it's really not. That's all I have to say. What? Why? 10-4. No, sorry. Sorry. I'm trying. Roger that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is horrible. I'm not trying to crash either, so move. What's up with this music? I mean, I love it, but Okay. We Oh. What? Oh, what's the point in stealing this car if this cop is going to be up in my ass? Okay, I think I dodged him. Right? Did I dodge? All right. Looks like we lost him. So how nice. do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs them. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for it, big boy. So find a body shop, say less. Let me go ahead and drive on through. How do you, let me see, change the music. Cause I know for a fact, I'm definitely gonna get copy, copy, uh, copy claimed here for the music. I just know it. Okay, nice. Thank you. I finally turned the radio off. Because I know for a fact this video is going to get definitely marked for unlicensed music. Okay, so the body shop is right here and it should be good, right? Yep, yeah, right here. Walk right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, hello, hello. How can I help you? Change the plates if you need to legalize your car. Okay, so change the color, change the plates. The license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks, man. So I'ma put I Well, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'ma put 
D G Is there anything I can do to No, no, hold on. Is this the only letters I can customize? I'm trying to do D G Um uh, And I'm gonna put Hold on. I'm trying to do something cute with my license plate, okay? I'm gonna put What where's the J? J and then nine and that's it. Can I have the option to have this as a no space? Really? Come on, man. There you go. I like this. By the plate. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Thank you. DGJ9. I know what you're thinking. What does that mean? Well, it's my initials and my girlfriend's initials. Alright, can we can we change the color or no? Okay. Goodbye anytime. Whatever. I guess I can't change the color, so... Alright, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. he probably have some work for you. Alright, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. DGJ9, I love this. I know, it's very sapphic of me to do that, but don't judge me. I love my girlfriend. Gotta have something that represents her in some way, shape, or form, you know? Anyways, bye. I love how I just did an illegal turn and the cops didn't even do anything. Definitely reminds me of Waterbury, for sure. And driving in here isn't too bad. I'm not used to it, but... Then again, it's been a while since I played a Mafia game. Come on, hurry up. No reason for you to take your time on the turns, bro. Like, hurry up. Alright, we should be getting hey. close, right? Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of, uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Ooh, I got hit. Okay, so what's hey, your lines? One. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Wow, <laughs> cringy. So cringy, my boy. Please don't here, tell me you actually got some of that line. If I line. rearrange the alphabet, I put you and I together. Cheesy. Oh, oh, come on. Cheesy as hell. But then again, I say that line to my girlfriend all the time. And she's like, oh, yo, did you eat your cornflakes? Because you're corny. That's a nice outfit. It looked good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. You're and sleazy for me. that. Does it really hey, work for you? Going? Or are you hey, pulling my leg? Do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No. What? You want to go back to my place and talk? Wow. Wow, these pickup lines are so cringy and sleazy. How about I this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. What? Oh, that was bad. Hey, what? you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Ew, I don't need to That's know that. Yeah, just drive through the gate. I don't need to know that. What the hell? This guy's a sleaze ball. And you really hang out with this kid? Come on, man. At least my pickup lines are cute and corny. Hey, this is just straight up hey, weird Mikey and creepy. Boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike. You can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on him. What are you from the health department? Are you Look at that Paul, business? that handprint in <laughs> his coat, too. Course. That's funny. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, hey, me and Vito here. go way back. 
He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty, and who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Rita, listen to me. I need a yeah. world to coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? Four hundred. Damn. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go. on Diamo. Okay. In time, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change deal's my address, deal. you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this. Just what? In case. I got a piece? Already? Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Oh, that's a cute car. Too go. bad it's in a dumpster. Hey, for that old wreck over there. So L2 to aim and then R2 to fire. I'm going to hit the tire. That's it. Shoot the tires. That's what I'm trying to do. Hold on. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. Got one. Hey, you ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, yeah. see if you can hit the gas tank. The gas tank. So we're talking here. Okay, gas tank. Oh, uh, the gas tank is above the real, the we. Sorry, the wheel. Okay. Right here. Oh, that's the gas tank, right? Right here. Am I not shooting it? I guess I'm not shooting it. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Gas tank. Okay. So this is the rear. Gas tank is above. Shit. Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Pollock joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. Okay, let's go. Let's vamanos. I can't get over the fact that my coat is hanging like that, but... No, no music, right, sorry. The way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Okay, that's cool. Say less. Alright, here I go. Wee! I didn't even bother to look to see if any cars were coming my way. I'm reckless. Go right up here. Okay. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's Who's worse them than people? We kids. They even what got people are you talking about? Now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, oh way, thank you. You carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? 
my concern is what type of crazy neighborhood are you going to have me walk into? Why are you honking? You're at a stop sign, jerk. But I'm just concerned. I mean, ooh, I ran over someone. I hit someone else. I can only imagine how much car insurance I pay at this time. Speaking of car insurance, tell me why my car insurance went up a hundred dollars. I'm so pissed. And I don't even know why. Like... That's mad money. You know how much grocery? You know how much food I can get with a hundred dollars? So I'm shopping for some car insurance. If you guys have any recommendations for me, leave, leave your comments below and I'll check them out because I'm trying to save some money. More, more money in my pocket, you know? It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Oh, great. Then you deal with him. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Say less. All right. I'm ready for my test. Oh, I can't even get in? What? Press to climb. Got it. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? What the hell? Ah, oh, shit. Great, now I have trouble. Ooh. There you go. Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay, we good, right? Cool. Finally. So it's that cream-colored car, right? What you doing, motherfucker? Really? Great. Great, great. This sucks. This sucks. Let's go. Come on. Great. Now I have so much stuff to deal with. Come here. Now I'm killing people for this car. Why? Why is he? Why is he talking like that? Up oh, the crying baby, of course. Of course, there's a crying baby involved. Can I get to the car now? No. All right. Hold to pick lock. Let's go. All right. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Finally. Thankfully, it's just one lock, you know? Okay, let's go. Bye. Woo! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, not bad only killed two people for this car, so it's not bad. Could've been worse. Is this what it feels like to be a Kia boy? Stealing cars like this? Get the Walter Coop to Mike in one piece. Okay. Say less. And I didn't even need to smash a window. I hope the front isn't too damaged, but still. I can't believe I had to beat up someone and then shoot two people. No wonder that baby was crying. I would be crying too. I'm not gonna lie. When you decide to play this game, when you do drive in the snow, your controller will start to shake. So at least you can get a feel on what it's like to drive in the snow based off of the vibrations. I know it's not the same thing per se, but it feels pretty cool enough where you're actually immersed in this game with subtle details like that, you know? Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, I'm not trying to hit anyone! Come on! Ooh! Yo, I was this close. Hello? Bro oh, because it's a red light, right? Damn. Hold on, can I back up? I'm trying! It's this car, bro! Anyways... 
the stupid car doesn't want to move. You know you have the right away on the red light, right? Like, it's in the DMV. Read it. Okay, so I'm almost there. I don't even know if I'm driving correctly or not because of the fact that the snow is so thick and impacted, I can't even see the line on the road. I ain't stopping for no one. Bye. I do enjoy the scenery though. I love classic period pieces. That's why I'm starting to enjoy the Mafia series. It's cool being able to like go back in time. Oh, Meholdi! Oh my goodness. I, oh. I really hope it doesn't impact my pay rate. But then again, he's a mechanic. He could fix it. As long as I'm not. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Come on, man, leave me alone. They actually get you for speeding? That's hilarious. I'm not paying no fine. Goodbye. Great, hold on. Let me let me loose this guy. Cause I know he ain't gonna Oh. I'm done. Yes! I made it alive. Look at that. Mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Moolies? Eh, what the hell's a moolie? The bombers. Not this their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. The lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 400? 600. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, okay. you're on your own. All right. Say Thanks, less. Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Me too. Wow, I made $300. I know that was a lot of money back in the day, but... Alright. Woo! I'm gonna try and not crash this time. I feel bad hitting these nice cars. See? All in a day's work. I like this. And then before you know it, I'm cutting deep in the Mafia business and I have to kill my best friend. Just like how it is in part one. I'm just guessing. I don't know if it actually happens, should but... take the highway, Vito. Look at this asshole trying to T-bone me in the corner. Jerk. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Thank yeah, you. I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. That's what he says. Anyways. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time, we was at the track, and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand to these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. Really? We'll see. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to let me park. Damn, let me park. Don't judge me. Hey, don't a safe judge place me. To park around here. I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Park your car in the garage. Okay, I got it. 
Do I honk too, or? Wow, don't, what? I have all these cars? Get out! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so... Leave? Okay, so... Park in the garage. There you go. That's dope. Okay, so we're all set. We're done for the day, right? At this rate, I'll be able to pay off my loan. Well, my dad's loan. This is so cool, man. I appreciate you so much. So what? We're on the second floor, right? Hold on. Yep, right here. His apartment. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Food? Say less! Hell yeah! Take whatever yes. you want from the fridge. See, yo tengo hambre, bro. This isn't a fridge, this is a bathroom. This is his. Oh, okay, got it. Bottle of beer, soda, ham and cheese. Hell yeah, thank you. In fact, I'm about to have me some ham and cheese right now. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.